Previously on The Bachelorette. One last breath of fresh air. It's solitary confinement, day one. It has yeah. Shannon Flaherty written Look, all COVID over is just so it. bad. One water a week for each of us. <laughs> Sane levels, we're getting there. Uh, just trying to feel something again. What else am I supposed to do, bro? He would eat the number of hot dogs oh for the games that the Orioles won this year. At, at least you have friends with you. You're back, baby. Yeah, steps are outside. I didn't realize this. Sammy brought us our hot dog buns. Thank you, Sam. Thank you. <laughs> Sam got the hot dog buns for us. 3.35. So, we got an email earlier today saying we were gonna be able to go outside at about 3.15. Now, it is raining out, but we don't really give a sh We have been locked in this room since Friday. We have not sniffed the outside. We are almost 48 hours into this thing. And we're starting to get a little pissed, so we're calling out Quinnipiac U right now. What I would pay to go outside. We're really just waiting for this intern to call us back and be like, yep. This is it, baby. Is our intern walking up the stairs? Oh, yeah. Yo, we're going outside today. We're going outside today. We're going outside. Let's go. A few moments later. person called us back and said we weren't allowed to go outside. Oh. That'd be a way to prank somebody, I'll tell you that. I don't care it's pouring outside, I wanna go outside. Got a call from the lady. The lady was like, yo, we can't get in contact with the intern. And I'm like, yo, you get in contact with that intern because I am busting out of here. I haven't been outside since Friday. We made it. We're on the outside. <laughs> the vlog has gotten better. Chris is here. We're running, baby. We're running some plays. All right. Jack, coming to you. Oh! Oh, oh wow. Ethan. <laughs> Dude, I'm not even doing it. Thank you. Thank you. This is how the dinner process works. This is breakfast and lunch for tomorrow. But for dinner tonight, like some cold pork, with rice and some veggies. Drinks, they've got like OJ. Tonight I got Red Gatorade. And then also water. Sunday night, baby! We got the puzzle from SPV. I've been working on an assignment and also playing Among Us. The homie JR. This is pretty unbelievable at this point. I thought, I thought it would be one day in and out. And uh, we're now on night number three, so. He brought one change of clothes. Oh. Hey, you didn't have to tell the people that, man. Day five. <laughs> I've lost all feelings of emotion. I'm just empty inside. Just bland. No emotion. No happiness. No sadness. Just my existence. <laughs> we are just trying to merely get a little vlog shot. So, okay, go ahead. <laughs> get the fuck out of here! Get the fuck out of here! Get the camera! Not much outside time at all. Um, no choice in food, really. Uh, lack of drinks, and you know, usually we would be able to go to the cafeteria and get whatever we want. I mean, the communication between us and the people running this program definitely needs to improve. We've tried to contact them at least four times per one response that we get, which is not acceptable. Just our biggest fear um, is the fact that we're not getting tested in here. Yeah, I'm gonna spend the rest of my quarantine period at home. The best decision for now. <laughs> okay, you will be missed by the quarantine gang. I know. Uh, Good evening, everybody. It is actually past one in the morning at this point. So you can see I am a mess. If I look tired and beat, it's because it's election night. And currently, just trying to stay up to date with the election. Look at, look at the bags in my eyes, dude. Day six. Someone has set off the fire alarm in quarantine. You trying to go investigate? Yeah, no. Like, uh, Who is it? Oh, it's up in the village. False alarm, everybody. No one we know. You know what? It's you kind of can get down to this kind of beat. You know what I'm saying? Come on, give me some. Give me some like sauce move right here, like.
You call that a Fortnite dance? Are you hungry, Chris? It's been tough out here. Yeah. Food. My beautiful mother dropped off. Sent me a care package. I'm thinking it's a lot of snacks. Holy. Sent me Legos. <laughs> yeah. That's what's up. Eiffel Tower. Are you a big Legos kid? You. Oh, yeah. Legos kid. Point. Sign of good oh, faith that we'll make it out of here. Snack. What if those are the special brownies? <laughs> That's my mom sending me weed brownies. <laughs> Who said weed? Yeah, okay. Bro. Big difference. You were implying. Big we difference. all know what I you do were not imply. imply. It's we 2020. We do not assume. Implying. We do not assume in 2020. That's what you all say, and then you say special brownies, and you're like, no, I didn't mean that. Yeah, you did. Uh, JR says he's brought me a coffee. There he is. Special delivery. Appreciate you, bro. This is so crazy. <laughs> Let's go, baby. First coffee in like a week. Developing story. We have been selected for a rapid test. Look, long story short is that we are getting a test and we're gonna know the results in like 15 minutes. There's a possibility we're freaking out of here by the weekend. That would be huge. And I get to go freaking home. Chris gets to go freaking home. Ethan should go home. A few moments later. Huge development. So. We were going to go to student health services, as you saw earlier, to go get rapid tested. But that wasn't for all we were thinking it was going to be for. That was for us to go to a hotel. We're freaking moving. We're moving. Ethan is pissed. I'm not happy, man. We're going to pack this up, go someplace else for a week, and then come back. They ran out of beds, bro. Freaking crazy. They ran out of beds, so they have to start moving us to hotels. We got to pack up everything. Here's my problem. All of my stuff is here. I don't know how the hell I'm gonna move it. And I'm not allowed to bring my car. We gotta pack. Okay, I will, I will, we will update you as soon as we get more information. And PCR tested. And I wish things made more sense. We're on our way to the hotel. It's a Hilton Garden Inn. This is absolutely insane. Something that we did not foresee happening. Luca leaving. We never finished the puzzle. I mean, this has been a roller coaster and a half. And I wouldn't want to take this experience with anybody else right now. Shout out Jacob Bresnik for taking our stuff. That was big. All right, that's it now for the vlog. Um, we're gonna see you at the hotel. We'll sure, give, you, give you a room tour. Give you a room tour, all right, and uh, we'll see you in a couple. Still to come this season on The Real Housewives of New York City. If I learn that, I'm sending you home. I'm not happy. This is a bad situation. They literally said, you can't go outside. This is not our fault. I'm not even allowed to go outside, Judy. Answer me that. These girls in their quarantine dorm wrote hi backwards, and I'm wondering if they know that or not. Chris doesn't think they do know that. I don't think they do. 